guys we're here at the barn well actually only uh, Gabby and I because we're going to um, address Chino's little back foot he's got a abscess happening so we gotta take care of that because you know he's got to get ready for show season so we gotta get rid of the abscess first and then uh, yeah so I brought some hot water we soak his foot in salt and water and uh, we're gonna dress it up. I'm just sitting in the warm car because it's freezing out and uh, Gabby is getting Chino, I think. I might have to help her. Just hold up. Here comes Chino. Why? Doesn't wanna walk? Gotta walk, he has to walk on it too, eh? He has to walk, he can't just sit around because it's not going to go anywhere if you don't walk. Let's go Gino, let's go. Come on. There you go, yeah. Doesn't want to go. We're going to be quick Gino, we're going to take care of you and then let you go back. How are we doing this right here? I don't care, do wherever you want. Wherever you want. Do we have cloud ties? Alright, it'll be fine until somebody comes with more horses, then we'll be in trouble. Alright, soak his foot. Alright, so we're working on it. Cheeto clearly does not want to be here. And we don't want to be here either in the cold. Do we, Chino? We don't want to be here in the cold. We don't, I know. So we're wrapping it up. We're going to put it in a bag and then we're going to... I need something sharp. Hold your horse then. Alright, I can't get a good visual here, but Gabby's duct tape in the tape. Oh, that looks kind of bad. But it's going to look bad because I can't <laughs> hold his leg up. That's why we need three people for this job. Yes. Or the horse needs to go in the cross ties and we're doing it at a time because it's all I can't light. see in the cross ties. Your mama is, is your mama is noisy. Anyways, we'll be back tomorrow to fix it again. You know what? I'm getting my it all right? Really it should be alright. He doesn't even put his weight on it. But there you go, but there's a duct tape bag up thing, poulticed up. <laughs> that was a whole thing. friggin' leg workout. <laughs> Like no. I know. Just squats while doing that, eh? Yeah. All right, here you go. Here's your horse. Here's one last here you go. <coughs> yeah, do the top up. She don't want to be in the camera. Stop. Well, that's it for this bandage up thing. We're gonna go home, get ready for our live, and see you in a bit. Good uh, morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Uh, welcome to uh, today. We are getting set up. I'll show you guys. We're getting ready to do a live video. We haven't done one this year. Okay, it's only been like one month into the year, but you guys know what I mean. So uh, this is what we do for live videos. We have like a light. We have a uh, camera. This is the camera that we use. It's super cool, actually. Super high tech. I do not know how to work it. It's updating right now. So also it comes with all this stuff. Sam has this little iPad that goes with it. Like, it's super high tech. Maybe that is why we hardly ever go live. Anyway, uh, you guys saw that Gabby and Sam went back to the barn to um, treat Chino's foot. He has a little bit of uh, abscess, which is okay. That, that stuff happens. Uh, Chino's been doing really well. He seems to really like the new barn. He really seems to like a smaller pasture. He seems to like having just Finny in there with him. And... Everything's going well, but he did get a small abscess, and I think it's because something that we did, we made a change in his food. I'm learning so much, you guys, about... I'm going downstairs. <laughs> I'm learning so much... <laughs> Sophie fell down. <laughs> I'm learning so much about nutrition and how it impacts our horse's health and our horse's feet. Help yourself. Horses are just like us. 
in terms that we all need specific things to make our bodies run well and we're figuring that out with Chino and we're having some success with it. I'm super excited to share and I am going to be sharing. I decided to figure it all out and make a process of the video. Like you guys know how on YouTube everybody wants to see like the end result. Well with Chino I am going to show the end result. That That's the plan. A photo of you. you drew a photo of me? Yeah. This is it. I'm a blob. <laughs> I'm a purple and blue blob. Yeah, you have a purple shirt. Yeah, purple shirt. And then you have blue hair. You should have some blue spots. Thanks, you Sophie. You have blue veins. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Sophie. Beautiful photo. So the live video that we're doing, which you guys will already see, it'll already be up, is all about Gray Finn and Gabby and their journey. We're going to answer all your guys' burning questions. There are a lot of questions about Sophie and Goldfin as well. And we are going to try and figure it all out together with you guys. And I'm excited. I'm excited to like sit down and talk with you guys and see where your head is at. Even though I have seen where some of your heads are at. So if you have any questions and you or concerns, go ahead and check out that video so that you can get your answers so that you guys can get the answers. We're trying to cover all of our bases on that video, answer everybody's questions because after this we're just going to move on and keep on going on with life and we're probably not going to come back to the whole Gray Finn, Gabby thing and explain it over and over and over in our videos because it's really hard to do that. So go ahead, check out last night's video. It is like, it is a live video that we are doing to talk about what our plans are and what Gabby's plans are. It is so late now, probably 6 p.m. and we're just getting ready to sit down and edit. We didn't video too much after our live video because our live video went long. Um, during the live video, there was this really cute girl that just randomly asked, do you like lemons? And yes, we like lemons. We are lemon lovers. And it was so funny because after, um, after she asked us if we like lemons, she spammed the comments in our live video with lemons and it was just so funny and so cute. So lemon girl, if you're out there, uh, tell me who you are. And if you like lemons, if any of you guys like lemons, comment a lemon in the comment department section and um, so we know that we're all a part of the lemon club anyway uh, So we didn't video we didn't end up videoing too much after the live We all got lazy and had supper and just relaxed it's Sunday and freezing cold But this week I have high hopes to ride penny because it's supposed to be warm anyways So I'm gonna end today's video. I'm gonna show you guys what happened um, The other day when we surprised Gabby with her lease horse Finn gray Finn Griffin somebody suggested we name him Griffin gray Finn Griffin. I love that name um, anyway, so the lesson was all about Gabby and all about us surprising her with the horse. Sophie forgot her boots at home and had to ride stirrupless the whole entire lesson. She didn't get to go above a walk. She just had to walk around and work on Finn. And sometimes things happen for a reason. Brandon wants her to do that. Brandon wants her to spend as much time as possible just walking him around and getting him to relax and figure out Sophie's balance and I think like there are a lot of things for us to figure out with her stirrup length and her stirrups and her saddle figuring out how to get it to work better. I'm going to show you guys that footage right now and end today's video and we'll be back with a regular daily vlog tomorrow and let's see how the rest of the next few weeks go with Gabby and Grayson and Sophie and all her adventures. And I pray for Chino that his abscess bursts really quick so we can get him back moving and grooving again. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Put them all the way down. Legs way down. Come on, can you please take my back? Yeah. Legs way down. I do not know what's happening. Straighten your legs. Straighten your legs, sister. Put them right. Push your knee back more. I'm definitely going to get hurt. I am not even loaded and bring it since the last ride. Oh. Mom, you can back me up. Yeah, I can back her up. She hasn't put her, but maybe she just didn't need to put them down another step and we didn't notice. She hasn't put down another hole, I think. Yeah, I think my kids ride with two short stirrups, maybe. I do too. Do, do you actually? There you go. We all agree. And Brandon does it too. So this is the problem with Brandon. 
All of my kids' bad habits are the same as, well, not Sophie's, but Gabby and Brandon have similar bad habits, so he understands. I know. I try to fix mine. I know. Nobody's going to yell at me, so I just like, meh. And you can only do what you can do. I can ride a motorcycle. I feel bad when I ride ponies, because I'm like, oh, my legs are, like, way around you. So I just shorten them up for a horse. So, this Roll is... Your head. Slow it down. Slower. Take a little feel. Keep that inside leg on. Remember, it's just one leg. It's not grabbing that outside rein. If you touch that outside rein, I will take it off. Where's that horse's nose? Just because you're walking doesn't mean you can't utilize a little bit of contact, Sophie. Heels down. He's so fresh. He's like, I just about to run. Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now Your exquisite kiss, still burning Didn't know I missed this passion in life Now I'm addicted, so now let me tell you why What is it? To be honest, I never ever thought Sophie would ever like volunteer to do a no-stirrup lesson Last winter, she was like freaking out terrified You know how some lessons are like so long and some are really fast because of the cold? Today is a really fast one. It's not like as cold as it has been, but it's cold enough that no parent wants to survive to live through this. Yeah, it feels colder than what it is. It's only minus 10 at home. Only minus 10 Celsius. So Sophie's just gonna walk around with no stirrups for her whole lesson and I'm proud of that. I'm okay with that. Poor Sophie. How are you liking this lesson? Oh, you love this lesson, I'm glad. I used to be satisfied, stayed over the surface. Now I just can't get enough. You make me feel good like no one. Wow, oh, I missed it, you guys. There we go. And then soften your hips, relax your hips, and soften your reins forward. Sophie's turn to jump. Should she trot now or no? We can just walk. I mean, I'm fine with that. She needs to, the practice. Feel comfortable. You're not gonna reach on his face. I'm gonna do it to his mane instead. You're gonna do what? Hold on to his mane instead. But that doesn't help what you're trying to teach him. What is she trying to teach him? You're trying to teach him to move off this inside leg. Holding this and stepping forward with the hind end. Now you're going to be able to do many things at once. Okay. It's so hard. Just going to keep walking. Oh yeah, that's hard for it's me too. It's a good workout because he's starting to relax a little bit, right? Yeah. These are very fresh. So as you're going through, keep pressing through with that outside leg so that he starts to get that little, there we go. So he starts moving sideways a little bit and then using the outside leg to turn and press him back in. And then straight line, nice and tall with your body. Inside leg presses out, a little feel of the inside, so it just kind of rounds a little bit, okay? So he's gonna have sore legs after today, she just said. Don't you know that you're beautiful?